Hi, my name is Cheryl Nomanson, and I'm with the SolarWinds Academy, and I'm going to talk to you today about the SolarWinds platform. So for a long time, the SolarWinds platform represented our, what we would call on-prem or self-hosted platform that ran modules for uh, monitoring network infrastructure and systems and servers. We've expanded the SolarWinds platform terminology to encompass a wide range of customers that we have with very different environments. So the SolarWinds platform now represents more than just our on-prem or self-hosted. So our customers now run a large range of different types of environments. They start pretty much over here at 100% on-prem, where we have customers who don't even have servers running SolarWinds software that have internet connections. They're completely isolated. All the way out to customers that are 100% SaaS. And then we have customers that run in between this. So how do we satisfy the needs of all of our customers? So the SolarWinds platform itself, we used for a long time to describe the, what we call the Orion platform, which was an infrastructure that satisfies customers on this side of the spectrum. We still have that. We call that the self-hosted platform component. That's the self-hosted platform component of the SolarWinds platform. Now, whether you run SolarWinds product modules or you run our newer products such as hybrid cloud observability, they run on this platform. So the self-hosted platform has the same functionality of its predecessor, which was the Orion platform. So if you are running versions 2020.2.6 or earlier, you are running the Orion platform and it runs the modules. The self-hosted platform is version 2022.3 and forward, so anything after that. Whichever one you're running, you can still run your module-based installs. such as SAM or NPM. But the module-based installs have worked very, very well for IT when customers have very segmented areas of the network that they manage. But what we've noticed increasingly with our customers, and I have seen with customers I've worked with in training, is they have particular modules installed, and they are troubleshooting or using those modules and they get to the point where the module itself is not, it's specialized in what it does, but it's not giving them the additional functionality they need to continue their monitoring journey or their troubleshooting journey. So they need a different module to go with this. So they would have to stop and, and grab that additional module and then continue. Or they were looking at purchasing and they say, I have all of these things across IT that I need to monitor. Which modules do I need? And it sounds like that would be a pretty straightforward conversation, but sometimes it's not. So we have a long successful history of using the modules to monitor the network and the self-hosted platform in monitoring that network. And of course, the self-hosted platform now as we move forward is actually optimized, it follows secure by design, it performs much better, and we've added additional functionality such as additional SD-WAN monitoring and alert stack capabilities that you can use in the platform and even with module-based installs. So it's important to note that you can continue to upgrade and still run your modules. But ever increasingly, people that are working in IT are getting more and more responsibility of different things. And sometimes it's difficult to determine which module you need to be running. What that leads us to is a solution that is more of an observability solution. In other words, it considers the entity that you need to monitor and then provides you with the tools you need to monitor it. Instead of what modules do I need to install, what different things am I monitoring? And then the solution itself provides you with the tools for that. So running on the self-hosted platform, is our new offering called Hybrid Cloud Observability. Okay, so with the self-hosted platform that can run the modules, it runs Hybrid Cloud Observability, we're still very, very effective in monitoring these environments here, environments that move 
to even having a few, hey, I've got AWS and Azure or other servers that I manage. So they're my servers, but I run them in the cloud. And to be honest, the modules have been able to do that for quite a long time. Sam has had cloud server monitoring for several years. So whether you have the modules or hybrid cloud observability, all of those use cases you can still manage and monitor very effectively with a lot of similar tools and functionality and additional functionality that makes it even better that comes out in hybrid cloud observability. So we've moved kind of this far on the spectrum of our customers. Well, for several years, we have expanded cloud offerings. We have things like uh, App Optics and some of those products that satisfy our customers that are 100% cloud. And we've added these products in and sold them and, and supported our customers for this monitoring. But those products were each standalone products. So what we then developed as kind of a similar model of supporting our customers as we have here is we developed a SaaS platform. And we call this the SaaS platform component. This is the SaaS platform component of the SolarWinds platform. So you have the self-hosted platform component, the SaaS component, all of this holistically falls under the SolarWinds platform. And what the SaaS platform does is it offers functionality for cloud-based. This is all cloud-based monitoring. The biggest thing that you have here, AI ops and machine learning, we'll just say ML for machine learning. That technology exists in this platform. And as we all well know, machine learning and artificial intelligence, things like that has become very popular. So we have AI operations here, AI ops, and we have machine learning in this platform. So running on that platform then is our new SaaS cloud offering called SolarWinds Observability. So SolarWinds Observability is 100% cloud-based. This is a SaaS uh, application here that runs on the SaaS platform, and customers can use this for 100% cloud-native environments, DevOps, you know, cloud ops, applications in the cloud, services in the cloud, which is really, in a lot of ways, in most ways, a very different beast than monitoring on-prem. So we did not take the modules, SAM or NPM or the Orion platform and simply put it in the cloud because the needs of these customers are different than the needs of these customers, very different. Application monitoring in the cloud is an entirely different animal than application monitoring on-prem or even on your own managed servers. So we did not take and go say, hey, let's put Orion in the cloud. We developed this here strictly for to meet the needs of SaaS customers, cloud native customers. And it meets those needs with application and database and service and website navigation monitoring. It meets those for your DevOps or your cloud native customers. But it gives them a centralized platform that runs a lot of features and functionality that they had from individual products on a single platform, kind of the same model that we've provided for on-prem and hybrid customers for a number of years. So now, We've come over and we've satisfied that customer. And we've satisfied this customer, yeah, out to about here on the spectrum, maybe to about the halfway point, okay? But now we look at this and we say, oh, well, we've looked at our own trending and our own reports and our own conversations with customers. And we have a lot of customers that run this, but they've also got a little bit of this. So they can install self-hosted platform, hybrid cloud observability, go and get themselves licensed on a SolarWinds observability tenant and have the two tools and monitor everything. But wouldn't it be cool if those two tools could talk to each other? So right in the middle of these two platforms, you're gonna find a couple of different things. The first one I'm gonna talk about is something called Platform Connect. Now, what is Platform Connect? Platform Connect is what it sounds like. It connects the two platform components, okay? Platform Connect is a feature of hybrid cloud observability. 
So you have to have hybrid cloud observability to use Platform Connect. And what it does is it allows you to take infrastructure data that you are monitoring, entities and infrastructure data, and port it up to view it in the SolarWinds observability web console. So I'm already looking at my cloud. Now I can keep an eye on my infrastructure in the same place. It also allows you, from the platform itself, communication with the machine learning and AI ops engine here to detect anomalies and further optimize your alerting with something called anomaly-based alerts. And anomaly-based alerts allows us to use this machine learning intelligence to analyze when the trigger conditions fire for a particular alert on the platform in your infrastructure. Is that behavior not only matching the trigger conditions, but is it anomalous for that entity or not? Because in networks today, the increasing problem with your alert management is keeping those alerts relevant, is not having those false positives. And there's lots of things that you can do in the platform to eliminate the false positives or at least reduce them dramatically, but you still have to deal with the fact that these metrics tend to be very, very dynamic. And they change a lot, CPUs, memories, even bandwidth utilization, things like that change a lot. So what is or is not anomalous for an entity can change from one entity entity to the next, so you can't just rely on a straight trigger condition that gives you a value, because that might be anomaly, anomalous for some of your entities, but not all of them. So you still have false positives, but what about if you can use this intelligence to analyze that behavior and say, you know what, for this particular entity actually, that 90% is okay, because it's normal behavior, and your alert doesn't fire, and we see using that anomaly-based alerting, a significant reduction in noise for alerting. So if you're running hybrid cloud observability and use the Platform Connect, and you do actually have a SaaS environment, or even if you don't, you want to use the machine learning, you certainly can, because Platform Connect is a feature of hybrid cloud observability. And I can use that for my anomaly-based alerting. And if I have some cloud presence, I can view my infrastructure data in my SolarWinds Observability web console. We have customers that do both. We have customers that do anomaly-based alerting. It satisfies the needs of the customers, maybe the customers that are kind of you know, moving this way. They're either going to move to cloud, or they're going to always just have some in cloud and some on-prem. So when you satisfy the needs of customers on two ends of a spectrum, how do you satisfy the needs of the customers in the middle of that spectrum? Now, what, what about the customers that are really heavy in cloud but they have a little bit of infrastructure somewhere. And it's really not enough for them to think, you know, I need to stand up hybrid cloud observability and have all this monitoring. But I got a little bit of infrastructure and I want to see what's going on. Network infrastructure observability is from SolarWinds observability to, I don't have the infrastructure drawn out, but to that infrastructure. And what it allows you to do is kind of the same thing. I install this SolarWinds observability agent here. It sends data from my network infrastructure up to SolarWinds observability server so that I can monitor that information in my SolarWinds observability cloud environment. So that would be the customers coming a little bit that direction. Now, are they moving that way? Maybe not, but we do have customers that come across this entire spectrum whether they're real heavy and on-prem with a little bit of cloud or really heavy on cloud with a little bit of on-prem. So you can't just satisfy the needs of customers on both ends. You have to satisfy the needs of all the customers across that spectrum. If you're making a journey from on-prem to eventually being cloud, or if you're going to stop somewhere in the middle with the new SolarWinds platform, you can satisfy the need, we can satisfy the needs of that. We can provide you with products and support and monitoring all across this spectrum, wherever you land or wherever you're going. And that's what these tools allow you to do, is connect those pieces together. One last thing that I want to make sure you don't forget is that we still support the plug-in products that we've always had. So stuff like Patch Manager and Database Performance Analyzer. Those ones, we still support that. You can still run those and support them, plug them into the self-hosted platform and see that information. And I believe Patch Manager, Database Performance Analyzer. And then if you come over here to Hybrid Cloud Observability, 
we have also added additional security monitoring by having the SEM and the ARM products that can integrate with the platform if you're running hybrid cloud observability and enhance a security view. So we have new security views and new security information that integrates those two products. So we still support all that we did with just the Ryan that became the platform that is now the self-hosted platform component. We simply added with the SaaS and observability for our cloud customers and then looked at it and said, how do we support everybody in between? And so we made ways for those two to connect back and forth. So wherever you fall on this spectrum, there is a SolarWinds solution that can help you. So this is the SolarWinds platform as we define it today. If you have any further questions about anything that we've discussed, please feel free to reach out to SolarWinds sales, sales engineering support, or you can come to the academy where I work and we can give you additional training. Thank you.